talk um, about some of the points I wanted to take last week on on the red flags. Today, we'll, we'll talk about some things. We'll talk about nagging, right? We'll talk about low self-esteem. Um, and then we'll talk about this thing about in, independence, the quest for independence by by um, ladies, okay? You know, normally when I they teach, I go there, hammer the guys, you know, Today, it'd be like saying that the ladies will talk about um, some of the red flags that a lady can have. And Van Wealth is in the house. She's she's going to be joining me to talk about some things, um, some red flags in a lady. Um, there are certain things we wanted to talk about a lot um, in the last session, but we couldn't. Van Wealth, once you're ready, please send me a request to come on the live with me. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Are you still yeah. outside? Yeah. Yeah, I'll still be outside. Yeah. But are you are you good? Can you flow? Can yeah, we I'm just? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. So Van Wells, you're welcome. Um, you know, there's a conversation we were gonna have last week. Uh, what's happening? Is the video cutting out? Okay. Let me restart. So there's that conversation we're going to have about, you know, we've been talking about red flags in a relationship for a while. Um, we spoke about red flags to look out for in a guy. We also spoke about some red flags to look out for in a lady. Okay. And then, um, I mean, Jenny Nurse is one powerful lady um, right here. My friend, um, Vanessa Kristen, you know. Yeah. Um, Good to be here. Yeah, so she she'll be sharing thoughts with us on on certain certain areas that we see in ladies <laughs> that can really be um that can really be problematic, right? One is low self esteem. We'll talk about low self esteem. Uh, if time permits, we'll talk about nagging and this thing about account, um uh, what do you call it independence. Like I just want to be my own to run my run my thing, do my show. I don't need to know no no man can tell me what to do. You know those kind of things, you know. Um, yeah. and please, my 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 people on on the comments, please do well to keep it hot and real. Okay, so it is a very informal session, though. Uh, it's not my typical serious session. Uh, hey, I'm not even in my typical environment. My guest is keeping it real life from the field. You know, it's, <laughs> it's looking like a like, <laughs> like a live reporter. <laughs> okay, so Vanessa, let, let, let's talk about low self esteem. How how does how does low self-esteem in a lady, um, how is it a red flag? Like, you know, just share share what you can about that. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, so basically we, know, we, we all know the word low self-esteem is not new to us. And so when people have low self-esteem, you know, it triggers every other kind of character. So it's not just about the low self-esteem. And yes, yeah, there are things that birth low self-esteem. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe upbringing, the places we find ourselves, experiences, things we've experienced, failures, different forms of, you know, bad experiences can cause the low self-esteem. But the truth is, it's one thing to have low self-esteem, it's another thing to know because low self-esteem oh. that is known, that is known, and nothing is done about it, can actually be a red flag because someone with a low self-esteem is actually very hard to correct them it's very hard to, you know, sometimes it, it, it seems to them like you can't correct them. Yeah. There are things you just cannot yeah. do with them. You, you actually have to, you know, tread carefully with them. You have to be very careful with them. And nobody wants to stay with someone that, you know, you don't even know what you're going to say next that would trigger them. Oh, but, my. Um, is it a total red flag? Is it something that, is there something that can be done about it? Yes. But so, first, we need okay. to establish the fact that low self-esteem is a problem, and it can actually make it can actually make you unbearable. It can make wow. you unbearable. It can make you it can it can make you piss people off. Yeah, yes, so, it can make you piss people off because people are coming around you. They want to be free. They just want to they just want to catch their phone. But then this is you trying to pick faults in everything that happens around you. Trying yeah. to have issues with everything that's happening around you. I mentioned you can now. Oh, okay. okay. And we can continue, huh? Yeah, we can. All right. Just I will not see your face too much. I was almost wondering if you were an asshole so because all those sirens. Right? Yeah, okay. I can see it is clear. All those sirens we're hearing. Is it your escorts? Are they coming to pick you? <laughs> it's 
da light. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, no self esteem is, is um, if you look at it, especially in our African society, especially in Nigeria, a lot of women actually battle with low self esteem. Yeah. Especially, you know, there are some homes where men are given more, you know, privileges more than the women. Yeah. There are homes where women are trained to know that they are not supposed to speak, they're not supposed to express themselves. Yeah. All of these people, yeah. women are oppressed and suppressed. And usually when mm. you've been oppressed and suppressed, the tendency of growing up with a low self esteem is very high. So mm. we cannot mm. rule out everybody because of low self esteem. Because it's almost like a general situation. Yeah. But now there are people who there are people who have held their own, like they've turned their own to something else and they're beginning to live with it. They've turned their own to pride, they've turned it to ego, they've turned it to unnecessary stubbornness, they've turned it to, you know, <laughs> they've turned it to a destructive, you know, you know, there are people who are destructive in their criticisms. Yeah. They're destructive in the way of trying to explain things to you. And some more some people have grown from the normal low self esteem to being a narcissist. Ha, you're taking it to the next level. Let, yeah, let's I'm telling you that, this, I'm that a lot of things that low self esteem can trigger a lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah. But, if but, someone says someone says on un, unnecessary stubbornness. Thank you. you unnecessary know? stubbornness. Yeah. Unnecessary, you know, because of you feel that no, I cannot let they've been they've been putting it down for so long, I cannot give them that chance again. And sometimes you even want to be a bully. Maybe yeah. you have been bullied, you now grow to want to become what you have been dealt with. Wow, 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 wow. So that, so that when you see as a guy, you're coming to a woman, you see these traits. Now, yeah. if you love the woman very well. You might want to be patient to know what triggered this low self-esteem. Uh, uh, if, okay. if, if if it can be no, there are people that it is a man that came to their life and helped them deal with the low self-esteem. Well, that's true. There are people like that. There are there people, people like that. that yeah. But there are people, yeah. but the truth is you would need to they've maybe they've not got you to that place where there are people who know okay they have these traits and they are willing to be helped. There are yeah. people who have seen who are, who are looking up to people, they know that I like this person's character better than mine. Mm. So they, they've seen a problem with their character. When they see a character, when they see a gracious character, they can say, okay, this character yeah. is gracious. I want to have this character. But there are people who have come to that point where they've built pride, they've built ego, and they've come to the point where they feel nothing, there's nothing you can tell them. Mm. Um, mm. Everybody have done it. everybody have been telling them what to do in this life. Now they are the ones to tell themselves, no, don't care. And you know, it still boils down to you see this, some people who tell you they are, you know, independent people, they don't get committed and all that. Right? There's no self esteem. So they don't even <laughs> think that it's possible for a man to love them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So they don't think it's possible for a man to love them. So they already built a wall. They already built a wall. It's mm. mindset. It's mindset. So they've built a strong wall, like nobody can, you know, and no man can tell me what to do. No man can do this. Mm. No man can do that. But if they truly can come to tell themselves the truth, they really want yeah. a man that can protect them. Hey, hey. Protect them. Lord, 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 Lord. They really Lord. want a man that can protect them and tell them what to do. Wow. But now, are, wow. they ready to see, are they ready to see um, counsel, as counsel, not as command? So when you have no self-esteem, you're likely to see counsel as command. Hmm, so the question is, why, that is why, hey, sorry man, you're just dropping too many gems. I'm trying not to interrupt you, but man, I mean, we need to interact, man. Like, ah, you, you see that point about seeing counsel as command? Yeah. That's that that's big stuff because that's why they pick offense at it. True. Because if you who it was counsel from a friendly and a holistic um, place, yeah. you know, from, from from a heart that seeks to love and help you, you shouldn't be defensive, typically. Thank you. Thank you, you. See? Yeah, but because you see counsel as instruction, as command, then mm. automatically you're revolting against yes. it. Wow. Exactly. You fight it. Wow. And that is a red flag. <laughs> no man wants to be with a woman. Remember, you saying you should take counsel. it easy. Yeah. We are taking notes. 
<laughs> yeah. So you see, you see this whole thing, this low self esteem, yeah. this low self esteem, yeah. it's actually a very, it's a serious matter. Like, yeah. um, I don't know if they address, I don't know how they address it, especially when it comes to marriage counseling. Mm. But it's a very, it mm. triggered fact. Seventy percent of other problems, I would say, yeah. starts from low self esteem. I agree. I agree. Actually, I agree. You see. We see that even yeah. men, like you know, some men who will tell you, there are men who will tell you a woman cannot, cannot spend on them. You can tr trace it to okay, what's what's going on here? Mm. Maybe maybe mm -hmm. they they lived under a woman who took care, who was actually sponsoring, and the woman acted really bad to them. And they've carried yeah. that perspective. If it's a woman that is spending, they say no, no, is a no, no. Low self esteem. Mm is it can be trivial it can be critical and when it's trivial yeah. a good man can help you a good man can come and help you grow out of it yeah uh, because somewhere somewhere there itself is that validation that they are seeking and then when you have a good man around you he can he can do it with love provide the leadership yeah. you need with validation exactly. with affirmation you know help you see your strength help you know that you are more valuable than you have always thought you know yeah true true true, true. but when it's critical true. when it's critical you might want to go through a therapy before you think of being with a man because you're going to be stressed on a man you're going to be stressed on a man Chai. yes Chai. anything that you say, i'm telling you uh, I, uh, I, I will tell you that i have been there so i know what i'm saying oh i have my. been there I have been oh there. My, oh my, I, battled, oh my. I battled low self-esteem and I know how it made me lose friendships. It made me lose relationships. But thank wow. God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the yeah. Bible. Thank God for the gospel. And, you know, started, you know, looking at, like, you know how you get to, the Bible will say that you keep beholding. Yeah. Like in the so it's like the more I read the, the more I read the scripture, it just dawned on me that Vanessa, but truly, this this character not be fruit of the spirit. Of. This, this baby not be fruit of spirit. <laughs> exactly. So the more, yeah. I, the more you knew it, I started dealing with it little. And the truth is that at some point I took a book and a pen, and I was writing yeah. down, you know, the things I display. I write down the counsel. I, I write down the things I display. I write down how I react to people. Yeah. yeah. Why, thank you. I write down how I do, how I react to people. I write down why did I react to this person this yeah. way? If this person yeah. has said this from this angle, would they have reacted this way? Is this is really mm. this person, or is just me who feel? Well, it's just, it's just who just have a perception. So mm. at some point, I had to like deal. See, you know, I had to deal with these things. That's the truth. And wow. Like I said, when it is critical, it is better you go through a therapy. It's better you deal with it before you get because even a man has limits. A man has limits to attitude to to how he can tolerate you. Man, as much as yes, Christ, men are supposed to love us the way Christ loves the church. He still yeah. doesn't rule out the fact that the man is so Sorry, you mean, you mean you mean husband, husband. Husband, not men. Husband. To love wife, not men. I'm making reference to the scripture you, you mentioned, you know. You said men okay. should love like Christ loves the church. So I'm saying no husband yeah. should love wife. Husband, <laughs> sorry, husband. husband. Yeah. The husband should love the wife the way Christ loves the church. Exactly. But even at that, the husband is still a man. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. The husband yeah. is still a man. So so if you you now you now want to be are you the church are you actually hmm. anything like the church are you anything yeah. like the church for the man to be able to so be, be, that means before you become the church remember there is a role there are processes before you become the church right okay how do you mean processes yes. you come to believe in christ you begin to okay. see, renew your yeah. mind that's where renew your mind comes yeah you start renew your mind so you as a woman, the moment you now notice that you still have that, you still have that nature, the low self esteem, and all of that, and you know, yes, you you you've come to terms with it. So yeah. you want to start renewing your mind, and you might have yeah. to start it before the man comes in. The man should be coming to yeah. see a progress. The man yeah. should be coming to progress. Not that you are just there, and you know, 
how do we know there is progress? That means you came to terms with it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me take you back a bit. Okay. Um, because okay. someone asked a question. Someone had mentioned that, you know, when you're giving all of those qualities, someone mentioned there that, oh, now I see why a colleague of mine behaves the way they do, um, the, way she, the way the person does, rather. You know, and then um, she went on to drop a question, like, how can I help this colleague who has low self-esteem? So how do you help someone around you who you can, you know, diagnose that what's wrong with this person actually is low self-esteem? As a lady, you know, okay. how do you help her? So um, I'm going to give you a practical example. Okay. So I, there's this woman that came to my office one time, and um, okay. she came, and I realized that from when she came in, there's this whole yeah. gym look she gives to everybody. She makes everybody feel less. She, she just screams at people. She wants to talk to everybody anyhow in the world. And you know, almost all the employees were working away. The they were getting to hate her wow. out of that. Okay, so sorry. Could you, could you hold your phone in a way that it shows your face better? Okay, um, okay, strangers. Okay. Thank okay, you. Can, can you see me? Okay. Yeah. So sorry. When, Go ahead. when I saw all of this going on, I, I just knew that, okay, this woman is someone that's battling low self-esteem. Is it that she's with a husband, she's with an abusive husband, or she, she's grown under an abusive parent? So now mm. she bullies everybody she sees outside. She acts the way. So for me, when everybody wanted to judge her, for me, I just knew that this person doesn't need more judgment. Wow. There's no plenty of judgment that brought her to this level. Yeah. So since I now I've, I've understood this whole thing with human personality and all of that, you know, I came from an angle of in fact when I saw I know her shouting, I was like, "Wow, wow, you're looking really beautiful. Oh wow, your dress is so beautiful." So the more I was complimenting her, she started this up. She started smiling. Wow. She started this up, smiling, and you know, before that day, before she finished her service, what she came to do, she actually told me what she was going through. So you see, that wow. your colleague, that your colleague wow. don't need judgment. Hmm. You, might, you might be patient, you might be patient with your colleague, because even when they see kindness, even when they see kindness, they can put down kindness. They can even, they can be irritating with kindness too. Wow. So you don't have to, but you need to come from a place of love, not judgment. They don't need yeah. your judgment. They, no, judgment brought them to this level. So they don't need yeah. your judgment. So you might want to spend yeah. more time. See, in all of their mess, look out one good thing they have done. Talk about that good thing. Wow. Focus on oh. their strength. Wow. Keep focusing on their, their, not their rubbish. Focus on their strength. If they trust you, see, if you can get her to trust you, if you can get her to see that you love her and your counsel is safe, you might be hmm. the one to change her. You might be the one to change wow. her. So you might really wow. want to come I really want to come from a place of love, not judgment. Wow, 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 wow. Um, do you mean, I mean, can you see? I mean, I'm just calling the person who asked the question. Like you, you've made it so practical, and I, I, I don't know. I, 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 in fact, I don't have anything to add to that. You know, love always wins. Yeah, love true. always wins. You know, so where that person is battling with validation, with acceptance, with all of the terrible experiences in their past, and you are there consistently showing this person love. Do you know, do you know as you are saying this thing, actually, it just dawned on me that many of the people, by God's grace, have been able to impact like that, who were in this kind of situation. It just dawned yeah. on me that that was actually the same formula. It was just that love and acceptance. It will. You know, it yeah, it was that love and acceptance, and then somehow it gave it gave me a right to be able to to speak to them, and they would listen. Let me put it another way: it it made them it made it easier for them to listen to me when I shared an opinion. Yeah, true. You know, and they knew that my opinion was valid because they had established that I loved them, and I wasn't exactly. out to I wasn't out to bring them down. You oh, know, uh, that that is so spot on. And then you said another thing about focusing on the, the strength that that person okay. has. See, yeah. this thing, uh, this thing, we, we, we need to go, we need to enter the street and start practicing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we really need to go and start practicing this. Yeah. Because, you know, the same thing with dealing with your spouse. Oh. Because you'll get one boyfriend now, we go just the colour one can go just distress you, <laughs> you know. And then 
but you know that yeah this person ultimately is a good person right but just yeah. having learned certain things you know and then it, it teaches you to be more patient yeah. to show love to focus on their strength and yeah. at the end of the day you, you you know you have won their heart and they can listen when you speak exactly. i couldn't agree any less wow wow Sure. Someone says, um, Media Jindu says, no same person repels real and genuine love. That is so true. Yeah. You need to, you need to deal on jazz or on drugs <laughs> to see love and, and run away. By the way, let me speak to something, right? So there's this okay. video I saw on Instagram where a lady had written her list, I don't, a list of things she wanted to buy and gave to her, whether it's boyfriend or husband, I don't know. Let me say it's husband okay and the guy approved everything i was like okay fine go ahead i'll send you money for all of these things and she got angry and he's wondering what is the problem she said he just approved everything and the guy says okay i thought you wanted everything she said yes and no not really but i just put some things there so that you would you would argue you would say no you would say you know but the, you know she was angry that this relationship is too boring you just agree no fight everything no fight you're supposed to fight once in a while, but and I'm like, wow, what's going yeah. on here? Yeah, those you are know? people that are coming from some uh, some. Yes, there are people <laughs> who have see. They say they like what a past fight. Yeah, that's correct. Exactly. <laughs> they're old for them. For them, peace is boredom. For them, peace is boredom. And it's it, there are people oh, like that actually. Goodness. It's not just yeah. a skit. Mm. There are people like that actually. They 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 they, yeah, they sit down and everywhere is peaceful. They look for something to trigger trouble. Wow, wow! They've, they've, but I think, I think there's, there's some deep problem there. Long. Yeah. It's, uh, uh. So, hmm. so imagine someone in that kind of, from that kind of from that kind of place comes to meet someone who loves peace. Yeah. All they know is peace. There's not a class. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's, they're gonna have problems, really. You know, um, that would take me to the next point that we're going to talk about, which is nagging. Mm. Sorry, let me. I've seen some comments here. There is just a says that that man, that that man, me seventy five though. Same with Fabuloso. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Fabuloso. Sorry, Fabuloso. Fabuloso. Sorry, 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 Yes, you will. Sonia, ah, Sonia, you're welcome. Your friends have pulled you in. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Um, okay. Don't worry, I'm just looking through the comments. Uh, can you imagine? TJ, okay, you have, you have started again. TJ says too much of everything is bad. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the nagging part. Um, what causes nagging? What causes women to nag? Why women did that? Okay, well, some people, it's not only women that nag, but you know, because we are focusing on the babes now, so yeah. let, let, let's put it from there. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. so, um, there are two forms to nagging. There are two forms to nagging. There, okay. there is the, there is um, nagging from someone who is a nag, someone who okay. is a nag, and there is nagging from someone who. The person who she is with triggers her. Mm. She's not a natural nag, but she's been triggered. And how, what do I mean? Someone who is a nag is someone who, you know, you just pick faults. You just love to pick faults. Even where there's no fault, you just pick faults. And you've grown up, you've grown up like that. You've just grown up picking faults. You've, and, you, and it's like when you were growing up picking faults, nobody really told you that this thing was wrong. You pick the fault, everybody okay. will leave you to everybody will leave you to analyze and give your points. And yeah. you just grew up picking faults, picking faults, picking faults, and thinking you are the one who is perfect, thinking you're the one who knows it all and all of that. And yeah. like sometimes sometimes people that are false bonds, you might find out with false bonds who had their younger ones and so they've been used to correcting, 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 correcting. And they bring that oh. correctional spirit. To marriage, <laughs> to everything, you meet a man who's a grown man. You think you want to, you want to correct everything he does. You want to yeah, correct him yeah. to bring okay. him. To, I mean, sometimes this correction, I always ask that before you start correcting people, please. There is there is no knowledge that is, that is universal. What you, your house might be the right way. From my own house, might not be the right way. 
So don't bring it, don't bring it on like correction. You might want to discuss something. So people who like correct, 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 pick faults and everything, these people mm -hmm. nag. That's one side of it. Then there's the other side of being with someone that that, that is not sensitive, that does mm -hmm. not listen, that does not consider mm -hmm. your opinion. When mm -hmm. the person does not listen, the person does not consider your opinion, the person does not respect your opinion, and the person does not give regards to your opinion. With that, you find that you'll be saying the same thing over and over and over again. But our advice, instead of allowing someone to turn you to a nag, you shouldn't even be with that person. And the signs are always there, even before marriage. Because I'll, I'll give you an instance. So someone reached out to me on Facebook, said, someone came straight to Facebook and said, hi, baby. And I replied, hello, it will be beautiful. It will be beautiful if you start your conversation professionally with an official greeting. And he goes, you are a babe. When I call you baby, you should know me. I just blocked. There's another person who came in like that and said, hi, baby. And I told him the same thing. And he said, I'm really very sorry. He said, I'm really very sorry. Please, I'm sorry. What would you like me to call you? And I told him, call me by my name. So you see, these are two different kinds of people. This, yeah. uh, this first person, you will start the conversation. You start, see, that, that's, that's a red flag he showed you. He doesn't yeah, know you. He doesn't think you should consider how you feel about what he calls you. Yeah. So, like that, who they, they actually have this, they are men who have this mindset that um, every woman should submit to a man. The Bible says, submit to your husband. So don't go, about women to mm -hmm. to you. don't go about looking for women to submit to you. Yeah. So you think if I call you baby, you should answer baby. That's what I want to call you. Mm -mm. So these are problems. Respect, so, me. Respect me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question is when you meet a nag, you might want to know what is triggering this nag. So some men can come and sit down and say, that my babe to the nag, that my babe to the nag. You might want to ask them some questions. Is the babe really nagging or you, you'll be problem? <laughs> <laughs> now you just stress her. <laughs> yes, or you just stress her. She feel not yeah. tell you, say, um, when you do this, please try and do this and all of that. You will not tell her, okay. You will not tell her, I will try. You will not even tell her, baby, I'm, I'm trying my best and all that. You ignore her. You do it again the next day. And this thing stresses her. Yeah. And she's talking to about it, but you don't. You don't think. If you don't think she has the right to talk about it, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? So you yeah. know, she now talks. She now talks about it every day, every day, every day, every day. So the quiet, simple going woman you married has become a nag in your house. Mm. And when you go and say, talk about her being a nag, her friends will be saying, "Ah, uh, you know the nag. Ah, when she's starting to come, become like this." You hear when she can't become yeah. like this. Something led her to this. But there is the one you say, Chichi the nag. All of them because you know, you know today you know that one the nag for Africa. <laughs> so when I meet yeah. people who nag, I don't just judge. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's I a want to, new I want to be sure what is triggering this part of this person. Yeah. Why is this person yeah. nag? And mm. I want to ensure that I am not part of the person's problem also. Wow. I want to ensure that I'm not part of the person's problem. But nagging naturally. Nobody, yeah. even the Bible said, you better stay on the rooftop than be with a <laughs> nagging woman. There are men who nag to you know now. Oh, oh Bob, should we go there? Uh, hey. Don't go with a nag uh, now. As in, my own self go irritate me because Lift talk for woman. That's a nanny person. Lift talk for woman. Lift talk for woman. When you did a nag, you be woman. So if you make bad, it's as bad you are a man and you are a nag. Jesus. Oh, man. Be... So, but because, we are, because we are treating the woman today, because it's the woman we are, we are... So, I would say that a woman that nags, we might want to... When people... When somebody tells you she nags, when, when a man complains that she nags you really want to know this me i would want to know what triggers her nagging yeah. and it's very easy yeah. to know it's very easy to yeah. know for me um 
I would always say that you, you, when you were getting married, you were getting married to a man. When you are going into a relationship, but you are going into a relationship with a man, with an adult. So you do not mm. don't come with the thing of correction, correction. Not be your picking. You know the married picking. Yeah. So yeah. don't come with this whole correction, correction. I'm correcting you and all this. Thing. Calm down. You know, you know, so let, let me continue for a bit. You know, yeah. some people do this, um, is this, they give the same vibe, but it's not like it's so for some, it's not like it's correction. For some, it's like they're, they are raising you the way they are supposed to be raising their children. Thank you. You know, and, and, and this is something we have told married women a number of times that your husband is not your child. All right. You're meant exactly. to raise the children. And submit to your husband. Not raise your husband. Not raise your husband. Not raise your husband. Are you a married man? We have to raise. Are you actually some men need to be raised. You know there are men who were not raised by their parents. But if they don't get married, don't go marry them. You don't have to raise them. You you raise me up. I put them to your list of children. I begin to raise them. Begin to teach them how to pick up their boxers. Begin to teach them how to get their plates. Begin to teach them how to understand, how to talk, and all of that. But I don't think anybody wants to. One of the things we talked about last week was mommy's boy, mommy boy syndrome. You know, you know, as one of as one of the red flags. You know, so some of these things you're mentioning now are them. You know, they don't know how to clean up after eating. They don't know how to tidy their room. They don't know how to make the bed. You know, because mommy always does that. Mommy always ensures they are okay. You know, and so they go about they go about looking for mommy in every girl that they want to meet. <laughs> looking for mommy, mommy in your yeah. wife. Yeah. You know, and even when they find that lady, unfortunately, mommy, mommy still comes first. Mommy is, mommy is still number one place in their exactly. life. Exactly. Because mommy know, is so. the all they want. Yes, and they will tell you clearly oh, that ah, nothing can come in between me and my mommy. Yes, you know. <laughs> it's pathetic. Let me, let me ask you. Really pathetic. Yeah. Because it's almost like we will have more of those kind of men. Chai, you see that there's a there's well, a lot of work to. There's a lot of work to be done in this space, actually. Not be okay. just today. Not be just today. I see. There's a lot of work to be done in this space. You know. Okay. It's it's not just to it's not just to fall in love. You know. There is a lot of growing and maturity that singles need to actually focus on in themselves. You know, before talking love and marriage. Yeah. You know that 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 that's, that's what I think. You know, there's a lot of maturing that needs to be done. That needs okay. to be done. Yeah. That's why I talk anyway. about people going, people going for therapy sometimes. It oh, helps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It helps. Oh, yeah. Okay, it, let's touch. It's not out of place. You know? It's almost like let's a Nigerian child. Last... Every Nigerian born in the 80s, especially 80s now, they need to go for therapy. Go for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree. Okay. The kind of upbringing we had, the kind of upbringing we had, is a master servant upbringing. That's true. You didn't have opportunity to express yourself. So all of That's these, true. all of these put together, all of these put together can actually make somebody, you know, become. It can give you low self-esteem. It can give you a different, use very silly perspective to life. So you going through a oh. therapy, and you know when they say therapy, now somebody thinks they wanted to go to psychiatric ward. <laughs> yeah, well, so no, so no. Yeah. Stop your doing now. This stuff you're doing now. Anybody who's going through something, and you can come for this kind of event and listen. You might just need to see, write out things about you, and see the things you yeah. want to change about you. That's the thing. Thank God yeah. for information like everywhere. And people are really trying their best to give knowledge out. What you're doing is an amazing job that a lot of people can, you know, get the therapy they're looking for, they can get it from here. They don't need to go and pay anybody or whatever. They can get the therapy yeah. here and maybe they want to now do maybe a two week session just for accountability purposes. Then they can pay yeah. their money for 
someone to just go through and see how much they've helped themselves. Over yeah, true, so that's true. Just, but but true. Um, when people still live in there, when I see people who still hold on to uh, whatever has happened to them in the past and they use it as excuse to be stupid, for me, no, it's a no no. For me, it's a no no. Huh. No no. You see, there are there are lots of opportunities that life changing opportunities and everybody. If you really love yourself, you really want to do better. You should take advantage of it. People are doing programs yeah. every day where you go and you hear people talk. People talk about their experiences. People are putting out their stories. So there's a lot of knowledge out there. There's a lot yeah. of knowledge out there. So if yeah. you are battling with low self-esteem, you are battling with a nagging disease. You know mm. that you need to deal with it. If, even if you are nagging out of the fact that you are with the wrong person, if you are nagging yeah. out of the that you're the wrong person, uh, no problem. The most important thing is that if you're with this wrong person, what do you do? Do you want to be with this wrong person forever? Or are you ready to take this wrong person, two, two of you together, go through therapy? Yeah. True. True. You know, there's something there's something you, you mentioned that I want to make reference to, which is about um, where at the point where you have where you have identified that you that you you know you have low self-esteem you know and at yeah. the beginning when you were speaking you talked about how that you at some point have to start writing you have to start introspecting you know asking yourself why do i behave like this you know i want to share a bit more on that experience for you and how it was it was able to help you to overcome low self-esteem okay so um the moment i realized Number one, it didn't just happen. I started watching, see, there are a lot of platforms. A lot yeah. of platforms I got for meetings and all of that. And yours was also one of it. You were also one of the people that helped me also. Oh, wow. So, wow. yeah, yes. A lot of listening to, so when, when I listened, stayed with you and listened to you, I was writing out a lot of things. See, it, 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 it didn't have to become as, but before then, I already have started, you know how you see yourself and, from what I see, what I call gracious, when I see a gracious woman, first mm. I've seen gracious women and I've admired them. And I know that, yeah. I know that it took them process to be like this. That's At right. first, you know, the women that excuse that, ah, melancholies are gracious people, phlegmatics, we, we are cholerics. No, you can be choleric and be gracious. Wow. Wow, wow, yeah. true. Yeah. You can true. be choleric and be gracious. So that's True. the number one thing I told my father and said, that you're a choleric doesn't give you the right to be... To be, to be for a reason you do. Yeah. I see, and another thing I did to myself is that I started giving myself... I started calling the harsh names. So I'll be ashamed of myself. <laughs> I, started, I, I was very hard on myself because I knew that, no, this cannot... I can't just be this. So I yeah. wrote down. I, I told myself, Vanessa, you are repulsive. Wow. I wrote it down. Wow. And when you are repulsive, you can't keep friends around. You can't do this. You can't do that. Wow. When I wrote out all of this, and I look at other people, and, you know, I started ensuring that, you know, when I just see, oh, there's an advert of this social so talk show, I just want to come and listen to people. And there are people I started listening to online yeah. that are into the yeah. whole... And the funny truth is that I have a personality coach. I, I, I train on personality too. But, you know, you, you can be a doctor that cannot treat yourself. <laughs> so true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so it came from where I knew that. Okay, beyond knowledge, I have to experience whatever I'm doing for others. I have to experience yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. And I started writing mm. these things about me. I wrote these things about me. I go, I go online, check out the dictionary meaning, and I also check out what is. I check out what is the, what is the opposite of this kind of personality. This oh, kind of character, what wow. is the opposite? What's the opposite of this adjective? And I wrote it down. Yes, see, it, it, let me tell you, when I was when I was dealing with myself, I had a dictionary, I had a Bible. <laughs> when I was dealing with myself. Yes, yeah. I had a dictionary, I had a Bible. And you know, it was with myself, I knew what low self-esteem is. The effect of low self-esteem. Wow. Because yes, from my, when I'm in his childhood, see, I grew up being the most ugly person in my house. Wow. We want to go for a birthday party, and they are saying I should stay back with my I should stay back at home because I might not be presentable. 
I was oh, ugly man. guy. I ugly. <laughs> I was actually very. Ugly. <laughs> if you saw me as a child, you said no, no, she don't really let you take the girls. Oh, no. <laughs> and I didn't like to. I didn't like to plate my hair. If you plate my hair, I will cry from body to mind. So they have to cut my hair. So imagine say you were was a girl. They cut, they cut your hair. Oh, but you not just be a. <laughs> So, oh, oh no. I, so that alone, that alone yeah. grew up. I, I started before you knew. I started feeling that I am safer with boys. I started becoming a top boy. Top boy, because yeah. For girl level, for girl level, I don't find no reach at all. But for boy yeah. level, I feel try. I feel try. Yeah. So, so I, I, I became more comfortable being around you know guys. And okay. That was, that, that that was me. Having it was all low self esteem. Yeah. I just want to talk to guys. I just don't like guys. I sack my trouser. I wear oh boy, leave them. Wow. I would have. Wow. I always wish to be like those other pretty girls. Wow. But I felt safer being a boy because for where girls they are no rich. No rich. Wow. Wow. So and imagine how that. imagine how those things. You see something again that you had you had said severally. Yeah. You know is how the fact that people's upbringing their childhood experiences yeah. some of the emotional experiences they had you know how it goes a long way to impacting them even as adults exactly. you know and let me say let me say here that it's part of the reasons why you know re recommending therapy for people is is really I I very valuable because um exactly. therapy helps me to go back in time identify exactly. some of those things you know, and begins to show you how that those could be the root causes of some of the things you're struggling with right now. True. You know? True. And you know, and you know, once you find those root causes, it's then easier to to start, uh, you know, making amends. Because the reason when people are not able to make amends in their of their bad behavior, permit me to say that, exactly. you know, is because they don't, don't even know. Like yes. They keep looking for ways to cover it up. They keep looking for ways to explain it away. Yeah. Those are the people who we get into the relationship and we never... Make them on everything to cover character. Yeah. Exactly. You know, those are the people who will never be wrong. They would never apologize. Thank they would never you. see anything, any area where they need to improve. Because exactly. it's always your partner that is wrong. It's always your partner exactly. that is, is not crying. You That's know? But then, yeah. You also need to know how to look within. You know, I mean, the truth is that is one big step. That is one big step. Being able to look at yourself and honestly evaluate yourself by yourself. Truth, yeah. That's All right. It. Yeah. You know, and you said something that you you were you were using the harsh names, the harsh okay. titles, like you were calling it what it is. Like, exactly. Madam, you are repulsive. Exactly. You don't have friends. People, don't, you know. What happens is that many people don't have the courage enough to, to them look at themselves, them. identify those weaknesses, and tell themselves that this thing is not helping me. Yeah. yeah. Instead, they tell you that is how I am. Uh -uh. You know? That's not how I am. I have the I have the identity of Christ. I'm a righteous person. Hallelujah. I'm holy. Hallelujah. Like I'm, not, not, I'm gracious. Yes. Yes. So that, that, you know, funny enough, that's what I tell people when they say that's how I am. I say, no, that's not how you are. You don't yet know how you are. You know, if you, you did, you would know that you are far better than this. You know, um, so so I, I identify, getting to that point where you can really honestly evaluate yourself and say, okay, I need to do better. You know, um, yeah. this means you have to care. I think that's the beginning of reinventing yourself, really. And you start, you just, you become a new man in that relationship, basically. Hmm. You know, I mean, <laughs> this, has been, this has been so priceless. I can't even, I wish I could take all the comments, you know. At some point, the comment section was so on fire, like, okay. <laughs> I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I'm I could take all the comments. No, I'm fine, we're almost done. You tried, though. I'm surprised that you were on the road all this period, and I mean, you were delivering... <laughs> Yeah, not that, man. You try, you get grace. <laughs> it's gonna be an episode. <laughs> All right. Now, let me just say this while you're you're going upstairs. You know, uh, about going into the house rather. You know, um, at the 
the end of the day, people need to understand that you are the work your relationship needs. It's not your spouse. It's true. It's you. It's you. You are the work. You know. Um, take a break from. Take a break from blaming your spouse, and shine the spotlight on yourself. And why am I saying that? Because by the time you truly discover who you are, you may yeah. even discover you have no business being with that person. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Instead of trying to solve problem order over and over, you may just discover that no, you know what? You don't fit. No, you don't fit me. Yeah. And that would save you a lot of stress. You see? But many times people want to you want to keep forcing somebody who is not willing to change. You want to keep forcing change on that person. You know, but if you focus on yourself and truly love yourself, you'll see that I'm putting up with something I don't have to put up with. I don't have to. I don't have to. You know? So, say something about that as we, as we round up, because it's already almost our time. You know? Okay, so about um, realizing yourself first, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, like I said before, that's, a, that's an actually very, you would actually have to discover yourself first, accept your wrongs first. And any wrong you've accepted, when people tell you, you won't get angry. You that's, won't get angry again, no. that's true. Okay. That's true. So the reason why you see counsel as command is because yeah. you have refused to see the fault already. So why don't well, you give you, you know, at that time when we were in secondary school, people who, there are some people who love to hear people. Yeah. So they have to kind of people that love people. People who love to yab, but they don't know how to take yab. You don't know how to take it. If you yab them, you feel bad. Then there's another set who will yab, and they will yab themselves so much, you will not say anything to yab about them. Not true, not true, not true, not true. So they will win you, they win for themselves, win you too. Exactly. <laughs> you really come to that point where you can actually see all your yabs. Yab yourself. Mm -hmm. Yab yourself. And when you know this about yourself, when you meet people, you will know somebody who is just naturally, you know, there are people you meet in this life, they have low self-esteem. They are the ones who have the low self-esteem. They begin to pick every fault in you. Yeah. Be... True. And if you're not True. careful, they're likely to reduce you totally. Oh, yeah. And yes. it's, that's the internet. And that will happen because you do not know yourself. That so if you truly know yourself, there are women who have married men, and the men have, you see a woman that used to be so outspoken, beautiful, intelligent, suddenly she doesn't even know she's back again. That's true. That's very because, true. Because, number one, she didn't know that everything she had was a strength. She didn't treat it as yeah. strength. So when she wow. came to the man, the man talked her into believing that it is a weakness. Wow. Wow. He wants to bring that low below himself, who already has a low self-esteem. Wow. So it is actually That's a very important aspect. You must come to terms to know yourself. Take a paper, take a barrel, write your strength, write who you, write everything about you. Then weigh yeah. it with the standard, weigh it with standard weaknesses and strength. Weigh it with the biblical um weigh the biblical principles of strength, of character. When you yeah. weigh it, when you weigh it, you can tell yourself. There are people who love, who love, they have open heart, large heart, they can love. You can yeah. meet a man who will make you feel you're too vulnerable, you're too cheap and all of that. But you're actually wow. not. You're yeah. actually just a loving person. The man calls you cheap, cheap, cheap. After that relationship, the next one, you will, wear, you will not want to be what you are not. Hmm. So, True. Loving you have turned to a hurtful and hateful person. But it wasn't, wow. it, wasn't, it wasn't anything. It was just you being with the wrong person. And you were with that wrong person because you didn't even know your strength and your weakness. True. So discovering yourself is the best thing you can do for yourself. Discovering yourself wow. is the best thing you can do for yourself. Discover yourself. Write out everything. See, write out. Take your time. Take a pen and a paper. How do you react when somebody does this for you? How do you yeah. react? Do you ever say thank you for things? Somebody will say that. Um, some, somebody once said that if you are somebody who appreciates every little thing that is given to you, it's because you don't know your self worth. Please, oh, me, I'm not, uh, that, 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 I don't accept that. I don't accept that, man. I don't accept that. that. You, should, you should appreciate everything given to you. 
How can you yeah. say because something is small, you can't appreciate it? So you see that even outside, as there's knowledge outside, you need to be careful who you're listening to. You need to yeah. Be careful who you're and the person you are listening to, where are they coming from? Because some of these people who are even who are doing talk shows, they have problems in their life. Oh. <laughs> you know, after, you, after somebody dumps you, you will come with that yeah. hatred, and you come and start a talk show on ma on men, men as come men yeah. are this men are that. Yeah. Yeah. And many women are listening, and they are building useless worlds, building useless characters. So you want to oh. ask yourself, who am I listening to? When you're weighing oh. your character and discovering yourself, which mirror are you looking at? Yeah. Which mirror? Yeah. Very, very important. Yeah. Uh, you see, this is, where it's, yeah, this is where okay. it's important again, to use the word of God as your mirror. Perfect mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect mirror. Perfect mm. mirror is the word of God. Is the mm. word of God, and when you now listen to other people, like people like Pastor Chimizi, mm -hmm. all the people who are the people who are coaches, you also want to yeah. weigh what is their background. You also want yeah. to weigh what is because even some people who are saying they are coaches. See, I listen to a lot of coaches, and I'll tell you, I am I am experienced. See, life life don't see life don't do me things. Mm. Life don't do. Mm. Me. But there's something. That I will never allow life due to me is to handle my perspective again to life. Ooh, you need to explain that when somebody get this. Yeah. My experience is see, I've like I have principles. When I go into a relationship and it ends, yeah. what I retain is the good memories. Awesome. Also, so I save myself not to retain bad memories. You know why? It is the bad memories that stir up these bad, bad characters and That's these bad true. notions. That's the true. Good memories, the good memories keeps you in a place where you can talk about the relationship and laugh. I can laugh and say, ah, so that guy just dumped me in here like this, Sha. Any <laughs> Sha. Life, you know, when, when people say, oh, um, what will you do to your ex if you see your ex now? And I see some people being very relaxed. See, if you learn to see you at the center of everything, it will help you. Okay, sorry, the network was, was cracking at that point. Okay. It was, okay. Could you say what you said again? When people say, so I, I didn't get that. When people, when people uh, like, you know, hate their exes so much, you know that hatred, hatred grows, and it grows, so it, hatred is a seed that grows into a lot oh. of things. Oh. Yeah. Hatred is a seed that grows into a lot of things. So you know you now you now you are hating one person, but because it's a seed, it germinates to a lot of things. Yeah. So always see yourself as a center of every situation. Make yourself a priority. Make mm. yourself a priority. When you make yourself a priority, you will know that you will know that I don't even have time to be hating somebody. I want I need to move on and move on with a good heart. Yeah. Or to meet yeah. the right person, the next person. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't waste your time. You can't waste your time with people that have hurt you. That that's a lot of a lot of people who are living. Uh, see, you keep blaming people for like me now. Imagine me coming to blame um, all my bad. Say I told you that I was ugly, and this ugly they tell me to my face, my siblings. But today I can't count it against them and all of them. We're children. Yeah. Now I see that yeah. Children. If my mommy didn't treat it well too I, I i don't see it as uh, my mommy being see uh, like these are the healings i went through these are the healings i went through i stopped trying to see everybody as a reason for my problem oh. i put my, myself at the center stage vanessa okay yes even if somebody cost you this one before now you have a whole life ahead of you which one will you do for yourself uh -huh. What we bloody way blame Jonathan for many years of his life throughout when he lead. <laughs> no, they can't they blame out. <laughs> exactly. So you see the blame the blame games, the blame games are part of our limitation. See, yeah. Low, low self esteem. See, it is real. It is you see, it is real and it is tangible. That's one thing people don't know. It is tangible. Mm. It can be yeah. smelt, it can be felt, it can be touched. True. <laughs> yes. Man, I, 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 sorry, I need to cut you. We need to round off. Yeah, it's already past ten. I didn't know actually. It's already past ten. Like, yeah, 
<laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so like, how do they say it in TV shows? Like, last words or final words or this? Just, just cap it, wrap it up somehow. Yeah. Make yourself a priority. Make yourself the center of everything. And when you mirror yourself, mirror yourself with the word of God. That's a good wow. Yeah. So yeah. That's it. Yeah. In dealing with all of this, it, make yourself the center of it. Forget about who caused it, who did not cause it. You see you, see you as the project that needs to be dealt yeah. with. And yeah. let, your mirror, let your mirror be the word of God. That's yeah. it. Yeah, let it influence your perspective to life and to everything. Yeah, thank you so much. Wow, I'm sure you guys have enjoyed the session with Van Wells. It's been a powerful time. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I really didn't know when it got to past 10. I, I wanted to even still bring the last. There's another part I wanted to bring up, but I mean, we'll always do it next time. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, Doris Joseph. Thank you, Pebloza. Thank you, all of you who have kept the comment section lit. Every one of you. I, I wish I could go and call everyone's names right now. I mean, you guys are fantastic. Thank you all so much.